Hello, madcappers. Let me introduce you to a big brim, fantastic reversible sun hat. And what makes this big brim sun hat so fantastic and special? Well, it has a tie and toggle built into the design so that on one side you can adjust the fit and on the other side, your tie and toggle becomes a handy chin strap, which makes it perfect for travel, perfect for windy days, and a perfect hat to put in your suitcase and start your adventures. Now, the cord I use is a round polyester drawstring that's about 2.7 millimeters in diameter but you can also use ribbon and my toggles or cord locks are the round style they're about 7 8 of an inch or 25 millimeters I'm going to use medium weight one side fusible on both pieces of my brim and then I have an option to add a little piece of extra heavyweight interfacing to make your brim a little bit stronger. I have a pattern available on the website in four sizes, but you can get a free copy of the size we're gonna to make today, which is the average ladies head size or medium. So I like to cut all my brim layers together, including the interfacing, and I fuse the interfacing onto the back of each brim piece, following the directions of the manufacturer. I'm adding this extra layer of sew-in heavyweight interfacing. It's an option, and I did not use this on the hat that I have made that in this video that reverses to white, but if you're using medium or heavyweight fabric, I like to use this extra bit of stabilizer to give the brim extra support for shaping. And it also gives the edge of our brim a smooth, wrinkle-free finish on both sides. Now the top of our hat is a six-panel design and on each side, so that's 12 panels all together, and I cut my panels in pairs, right sides together. And pro tip, pin through each pair of top panels before cutting, it makes sewing that first seam so much easier. And another little tip that I'd like to offer, if you have a print that has some little extras like a pretty flower or butterflies and a dragonfly like this one has, then lay out your panel pieces, your top pieces, in a way that you're gonna be able to take advantage of that print. And that part of the print becomes part of your hat. You're gonna learn how to make this hat today while I'm making three of these hats. So you'll see three different prints. And I just wanna say that the prints, the printed fabric is all from spoonflower.com. And all three of these prints are made on cotton linen fabric and it's beautiful fabric to work with. So we're ready to go over to the sewing machine now and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my magnetic seam guide to help as I start by sewing that heavyweight stabilizer onto the solid color brim piece, the fused interfacing combo. And after I've sewn it onto the outside edge, I'm going to use my scissors to trim away that extra interfacing that's close to the seam. And this is going to give me a really lovely wrinkle or pucker free edge once I've finished the brim. So when I turn it right side out, you're not going to see anything except a lovely smooth brim edge, which I love. And now, once I've finished that, I'm just gonna finish attaching that heavyweight stabilizer to the other edges of this brim piece. So I'm going to go around the other sides of the brim, sewing it close to the edge, on the ends and on that inside curve. And once I finish that, I'm ready to actually join the two brim pieces together. So I'm going to match up the right sides and I will pin it right sides together. But I'm not going to join them all the way around at this point. I'm going to place a pin about three inches or eight centimeters from each end. And I'm just going to sew inside most of the curve, but leave the ends open. So I mark where I want to start and finish with a pin. And once I'm ready to sew in between those pins, I'm going to use my regular seam width, which for me is 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter. I'll just basically follow that line that uh, from the seam of joining the heavyweight stabilizer to the solid brim piece, which is going to be my under brim. And now once I've done that, I'm going to close those back seams by sewing the short ends together, right sides together. 
and I'm pinning far away from my seam so I can leave my pin in while I'm doing this. And again, I'll use my standard seam width, which is 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter wide. Do back stitching at the front and the end of the seam, turn it over, and sew the other two brim ends together, right sides together. So my printed brim piece and my solid brim piece, the ends are now going to be sewn together. And now we finish sewing that outside edge of the brim together. So finish closing the outer brim edge by lining up the back seams, opening up those raw edges so the edges will be open and flat when you sew over top of them. And you can finger press those seams down on each side. And there you can see what I'm doing. I'm opening them up and lying them flat. And now I'll just pick up where I left off and finish closing that outside edge of my brim. And you can deal with that curve by either clipping all along that outside edge with your scissors making little snips or what I do is I like to just use my serger and I find the serger just cleans up all those raw edges and makes a nice smooth compressed seam edge that I can turn right side out. So I'm going to be pushing and pulling on that edge seam and working the two pieces out. And now I'm going to use my fingers to roll out that seam edge so it's as flat and centered at the edge as possible. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to pin or clip it in place. And I'll go all the way around the brim. And a reminder that in the video description below, you'll find links to the free pattern pieces, the paid pattern for a nominal fee that has four head sizes, as well as a list of all the items I use to make this hat. And working from the top of the brim, I'm going to top stitch all the way around. So you can do one row of top stitching, you can do two rows, you can do more rows, but you start at about your normal seam width. And for me again, that's three eighths of an inch or one centimeter and go all the way around that outside edge. And as I go past those back seams, I just make sure that those seams are open and flat underneath. Pro tip, adding that extra piece of stabilizer to the underside really gives the finished edge a clean, crisp look on both sides. So I'm going to add a second row of top stitching and I'm going to use my presser foot and my magnet seam guide to give me a row that's in line with the first row, but it's about the width of the presser foot away. And of course, this step is made much easier with that magnetic seam guide. Now I'm ready to finish off my brim. I'm just going to close that inside edge with a stitch that's close to the edge of all the layers. But first I'll add my Madcap Hats label because this little baby is going to be sold. And once you do that, I always find it's easy to just trim away these extra little pieces of the heavyweight stabilizer that might be popping out, which makes it a nice clean edge to work with when we add our top which is coming up soon. So I'm folding my brim in half. So I've cut a center front notch. Now I'll join the center front notch with the back seam and cut two notches, one on each center side. Now just remind you that I answer all my questions and comments. So if you have any, leave them below and I will answer you as quickly as I can. So now that I've cut notches in the side, I'm going to add my cord and I add the cord to the, the layer that's printed because that's the layer that I feel will be worn on the outside of this hat. So you pick a side that you think will be worn the most and that's where you're going to add your cord. And I'm just going back and forth, back and forth and making sure that it's very secure. And now we'll start working on our top pieces. So we're working on the outside top pieces or the preferred side, the side that's going to have the cord. And I'm going to sew the side seams together for two of the three sets of the top pieces. 
And once I finish sewing them up the side seam from the bottom to the top, I'm going to top stitch on either side of the seam working from the right side and keeping the raw edges of the seam open and flat underneath. Use the width of your presser foot as a rough guide for the distance on each side of the seam. Up one side, pivot, come back down the other. And that's how it looks on the front and that's how it looks on the back. And I'm just going to do it for the other piece. And I'm going to turn these two panels of two pieces into two panels of three pieces. So pin to match at the bottom edge and sew up the side. Repeat the top stitching step on these new seams. So I'm going to open up that seam and working from the top with it open underneath, I'm going to do that top stitching and finish off this panel. So now I have two panels for my top that both have three pieces. Finishing the top means sewing these two panels together. So right sides together. I'm going to pin at each bottom corner and just out of the way of where I'm going to sew across the center of the top. And there's going to be one long seam that goes from one side up over the top and back down to the other side edge. And I'm going to finish with a top stitch on each side of that seam, working again from the right side and keeping those seam edges open underneath. It's a lot of top stitching, folks, but it's worth it. And now we decide where we want to put our center front and our center back notches. So you can either do it on a seam or you can do it in the center of one of those panels. And that's what I'm going to do. And my center side points are actually going to be the ends of those that long seam that join the two three panel pieces together. Right sides together, I'm going to match my center front notches on the top with the center front notch on the brim and I'm going to pin or clip in place and I'll repeat for the back as well. So I'll match the notch on the back of my hat with the back seam and I'm going to work around the hat matching the top with the side notches in the brim and I'm going to ease in the rest to fit and it fits perfectly and my side to side seam is lining up with my cord ends. And I pin them right sides together. And now I'm going to sew that first hat top to the brim, beginning at the back and lining up the edges on the right hand side, or for me against that magnetic guide as I go around. And again, my seam width is a 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter. I'm just going to check my work. And now it's time to finish off all the rest of my panels. And these are the panels that will be on my reversing side. So I'll do all my solid colors and I'm going to do them exactly the same way with my top stitching on each side of the seam. And assembling them the same way as I assembled those pretty prints. I've marked my front and back notches. And now we're ready to finish these hats. I'll start by matching the center back notches together, right sides together on the reversing side. And I'm going to pin on either side of that one panel. So there's six panels in this section and I'm going to leave the, one of the panels open so that I can reverse the hat once I finish. So we're going to use one pin as a starting point and we put a second pin on the other side of the panel and that'll be our ending point. We're matching up the panel seams as we go around the brim and what's going to happen is that the rest of the hat's going to get pushed into this top. It's a tight fit, but it will fit. We'll just tuck in that cord and as we go around pinning and clipping, we're going to try and flatten out 
that point where all those pieces meet on the very edge. So pin or clip as you work your way around and match up the seam edges of those two top pieces. Those six seams from the six panels on both the two top pieces are pretty easy to match and it gives us a natural spot to pin and clip. So we're going to keep the width of one panel open, the one at the back, so we can turn the hat right side out and we've marked that starting point with a pin. So start at your pin and begin to sew your layers together from one pin around five panels to the other edge of that panel number six. And I'm using my normal seam width as I go along. And once you get to your ending point pin or the other edge of your back panel, you're gonna back stitch, check your work to make sure you have no puckers or little folds and carefully begin to pull out the right side of your hat from the opening at the back. The big reveal is on folks. Finger fold that little open edge from that one panel inside the hat. And I usually use some clips to help make a better fold line. And you can slip stitch that opening shut with a needle and thread, or you can machine stitch it shut like I'm going to do with my next step. So I'm pushing the top layer, the two top layers together inside of the hat pushing that top away from the edge of the seam that joins the brim and I'm moving my cord to make sure that it's on the brim side of the hat once I pass and I'm going to start at that back opening point on one side and I'm going to add a top stitch all the way around. Now be careful not to sew over your cord or ribbon. Keep it on the brim side as your needle passes. Take your time, flatten both sides of the hat and pull the fabric taut or flat as you pass by. And once you come back to the other side where your opening is, you can remove your clips or your pins and make sure you catch that raw edge that's folded over and sew that opening closed. Check your work, you make any corrections. If you've, if you've caught any little bits of extra fabric, you can fix that now. If we're all good, we add our toggle. Another big reveal. I find it easier to get the toggle onto that cord while the cord is still one long piece and it's easy to push that loop through the hole in the toggle because it's harder to get the two ends through when it's looped like that. It's an easy push or pull with a hook and I'm just gonna tie a knot at the end of each of the pieces of my cord that I've cut. And you can determine how long you want your cord to be at this stage. And when you have your toggle adjusted to fit perfectly, you're gonna tie those cord ends in a bow. And it's a bow that can be easily untied when you wanna reverse the hat and use the cord as a chin strap. Sun protection with style. Our trademark, our motto, our mission at Madcap Hats for 36 years. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join us in this journey of learning all about how to wear hats, how to make hats, how to love hats, and check out the video of the sister hat to this holiday hat. The Smaller Brim Fashion Cloche is on our channel now. We are grateful for your video likes your super thanks, your channel memberships, they all go to support the free distribution of patterns on this Madcap Hats YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon with another hat project. Take care. Bye.